what's up y'all so originally this video was gonna be done i think two weeks ago but um i got wrapped up in other videos and other projects like live streams so this is basically gonna be a a double rant video because i've been getting a lot of questions asked about um these two topics and this is basically my time to finally answer y'all's questions or these two questions so the two topics I think we're going to be talking about in this video are going to be um, the mods, because people have been asking me a lot nowadays about like mods and stuff, so we're going to talk about that first, and then we're going to talk about, what's it called? We're going to talk about the Xenoverse 2 community, and I think my opinion on the, the Xenoverse 2 community. So, to start off before, um, or to start off, start off the mods, so I think as some of you have noticed now that I've been doing a lot of modded like cast vids and you've seen me on my alt accounts now and ranked and you've seen me play with like modded cast and stuff so to answer your question yes I have mods on what um some of my alt accounts but yes, I have mods on some of my ults. My main account is not modded, and I don't have any plans to mod my main account because um, I got mods basically when I was in the little the Nick G clan. I'm not in the Nick G clan anymore because um, it died pretty much, and it wasn't really like active like that. But um, I basically was in their clan, I found someone, and he basically did all my stuff for me, and I was able to get, like, custom saves and stuff done pretty much for that, so that's how I got my mods, and, um, I know a lot of people were, like, saying I was, like, a hypocrite or something, because, um, back then, when I was playing, I think, like, a few years ago, because I didn't have mods, I think, until, like, early last year, early 2022, so, I didn't have mods in 2021 and I think the years before that, but, um, I used to upload modders quite a bit and I would, um, expose them on my channel quite a bit because, um, I was just very against modding, I didn't respect, like, unless it was, like, a friend, I think, um, I wouldn't really, like, complain about it too much because most of my friends weren't, like, most modders to where they would just sit there and like abuse their mods so if there wasn't a friend I wouldn't really like approve of it and stuff so yeah but um basically I had a lot of people tell me um when they would fight me on my main that um I should get mods and I didn't really think much of it at first because I was doing it fine I think without the mods I never really needed mods but the way Xenoverse 2 is now, there's a lot of people in that game, they have mods, they will use like modded cast, they will use, um, they will be on CACs, or they'll have saves and they'll always be on like the all five and stuff, but I basically just got it because I was in that clan and um, like I said, I met someone, he basically did all my stuff for me and that's how I got them and on my accounts I have like basically what they have I have the all five I have Giantamic which I barely use the Giantamic and I have the some of my saves um recently I got I got some of the new mentors and stuff with modded cast or modded stats on so yeah but um yeah I think that was pretty much it and um it's like I said I know some of y'all in my comment section were like oh Arkham uses mods blah 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 so, yes, I do play now mainly on my modded accounts. I do still play on this account, the Toxic Arkham account, here and there from time to time, but I don't really play it in ranked anymore, but I know a lot of y'all want to see it um, back in ranked. I might go back in ranked soon with this account, but um, we'll just see, because having um, modded accounts, which I have quite a bit of alts too, by the way, as some of you have noticed, it gives me... Um, 
an advantage because there are some dudes that will like um they will talk trash to me and some of my friends like ultima and stuff and we basically we will have to use alts if we want to fight them again because they will duck which i don't really care if someone ducks but if it's like a trash talker or someone i know that like doesn't like me i'll probably just get on my ult just to find them but um yeah, because people were saying, I think now I rely on my mods and stuff to beat people, which, um, I don't really think I necessarily need my modded accounts, but I already um, got my stuff set up, and honestly, I do like um, some of my CACs and stuff on my accounts, and I can't really play, like... CACs like that on my modded, not my modded, on my main account because I don't have like the all five and stuff. And like I told y'all, it's not modded, so I don't have everything unlocked. But on these modded accounts, I have everything unlocked, so I basically can play pretty much anything I want. If I ever want to delete a CAC, I can just delete it and make another one without having to worry about like TP and Zenny and all that other stuff. So that's basically what it's for. But um, I'll say one last thing about the modding topic and then we're gonna go on to the um the state of the xenoverse 2 community and stuff in my opinion on it because some people said they wanted to hear that so yeah as far as the, the what's it called the modding goes i will use the modded accounts more than likely so if you do see me in ranked and you know it's like one of my alts you can leave if you want i really don't care but unless i really feel like playing on my main like that, which like I said, I might soon, then yeah, you'll probably just fight that, and another thing I will say too is that um, people were also saying like it wasn't fair or whatever, that I had mods now, but the thing was like even back then when I didn't have mods, people were always trying to tell us that like mods were fair and stuff, and they would use like, um, back when they had old mods, they would use Wii Stodge and stuff, and I've had some modders nowadays try to say like Giant Namekian and stuff was fair, which I obviously don't agree with that being fair, even though I have that on um, some of my accounts. But yeah, they will say it's fair, but um, I think the having mod is mainly just for people that just like don't want to grind, because most people that have mods told me they got it because they just didn't want to farm for like the clothes and stuff, because it does take a while to farm for stuff in that game, and... If you're a noob, like, just starting Xenoverse in 2023, you're gonna have, like, a very hard time farming stuff, so that's pretty much why people got mods, which, it's, like, iffy now with me and mods. I kind of don't mind it as much as I used to, because I have them now, and I have to use it sometimes for some people, because I used to have to sit there, and, like, even when I was playing ranked and outside of ranked, we would fight, like, people... Like Johnny Angels, for example, he would use like modded casts on us and stuff and use mods and we couldn't really like beat that too much unless we got on like Broly or something. So me having mods now basically will give us like an edge against some like modders or cheesers or whatever because it's like I told y'all, most of them, most people nowadays have mods and that's what they're going to use on us. So why won't um, I use it because I know Ultima and my other friends would never use mods, but that's how I feel about it. You can agree or disagree with that, but it's like I told um, most people I can fight without my modded accounts, and even if I were to get on my main, it would still be like if and or. I just need to be on my um, alt accounts just for like a few people, I think, but even then I can still play like off my modded accounts, but that's all I have to say though about the, the little modding thing. That's my opinion on it, and that's also... Uh, me answering you guys' question about uh, me having mods on the alts. Now, this next part of this rant, I'm gonna try to make this short, but when you talk about the Xenoverse 2 community, it's very, like, controversial and stuff, and there's a lot of, like, opinions and stuff that people don't agree with, so... As far as the community itself goes, I've been a comp player, which, for those of you that don't know, a comp player is basically someone that plays Xenoverse 2 competitively, I've been a comp player for like two years now. I wasn't really a comp player back in early 2021. I would do first of fives if it was like a B first of five or um, I would do first of fives with friends, but that was pretty much it. But 
two, in early 2022, I became like a full-blown like comp player. I was fighting CAC players in comp. I fought cheesers. I fought cast players like myself in comp. I fought a lot of opponents in comp. And I was also able to, I also fought like some of the toughest opponents or some of the top people as far as like clout goes in the community. I fought Shahan, Rampage, I fought Jet Engine, I fought a lot of known players and known opponents. But, um, yeah, being a comp player for that long, you'll see a, a weird side of the community, because the Xenoverse 2 community, it is full of, like, a lot of weirdos and some no-lives that will play the game, like, 24-7. They'll take it like it's their life, and depends on it, and they will ego you and it will be like annoying to deal with that's another reason too why you should probably shouldn't if you were thinking about becoming a comp player to be one because being a comp player it's like a trap you're basically setting yourself up to fight with all these egos and these personalities and these people you don't like and you're gonna have to deal with like cheesers and all this other stuff but it's like the comp side of the game is basically like, it's basically somewhat keeping the game active and alive because without the comp side of the game, I think the game would be dominated by like people that play parallel quests a lot and the, like the new players, which a lot of people don't like that. They want comp, they want competitiveness and stuff, so yeah, they do that and um, as far as my experience with the comp side of the community goes, it was pretty crazy getting into comp like that because I even when I joined like some of these Discord servers that I didn't want to like be a part of because they were just full of like annoying people like this in the community and stuff. It was pretty annoying because like I said and as you guys some of y'all know people were like spamming old pictures about me and stuff and they were just running their mouth like always and people are still doing that to this day and I do have to deal with that sometimes but it doesn't really bother me or affect me anymore. It used to like annoy me like pretty heavily back then because I would have like friends sending me pictures like that and it's like you guys know we've um, I've been in like beefs with like friend groups and stuff over like stuff like this and Xeno and it just it gets annoying after a while and you just don't want to deal with it and there were times I thought about quitting the game but I still haven't quit yet surprisingly but yeah. So, a few other things I would like to say about the Xenoverse 2 community. Right now, it is very, like, quiet. And when I say it's quiet, it, I mean, like, there's nothing really, like, going on right now. There are still some people being active and doing stuff, but it's, like, very, uh, it's, like, a small amount of people, like, being active because... Back then, like early last year, Xenoverse 2 was very active. There was people like uploading every day. There was live streams and stuff going on like every single day. Now there's like barely anybody being active. And I think um, I'm one of the few people that's like being active and consistent because I know a lot of people still bring my name up and stuff when it comes to topics like that. But yes, I'm still active for you guys and for my channel, which shout out to you guys because we got to 836 subs. You guys can expect a stream sometime because of that. But shout out to you guys, and I do still appreciate the support you guys give me, and I do plan to keep making content for you guys. But another thing I wanted to say too about that is that, like I told y'all, the community's just full of weirdos, and they just want to be toxic and just like start beef and drama and clout chase. That's another problem too in the community. It's like clout chasing. A lot of people, even like some some of these new gen players that we fought or that I've had to fight and deal with, they just want like clout and attention because they're not known and they just they just want clout off your name. We had a lot of problems with like this in the past. Me and Ultima did over that little um, demigod beef. People are still trying to clout chase off us to this day, but mm-hmm, it's just annoying and. I also saw recently that they revived Shahan's server, Shahan Inc. He made like he remade his server again for like the tenth time. <laughs> I don't know how long that's going to last, but um, Shahan Inc. was like a very famous Xenoverse 2 server. 
That server has like over one, it had over 1k people in there. I think it has over 1k people in there now, but it's a very active Xenoverse server. They always talk about who's in debt and all this other stuff in there. And it's just like annoying after a while because it's like some people have said, bro. There's just a lot of weird people and annoying people in there and they will spend hours on hours on the game and they will be egotistical and it's just annoying to deal with stuff like that. That's another reason too, um, kind of when I first started playing like comp, I didn't want to like be part of the community because I knew it was full of like people like this and I just, I didn't want to deal with it after a while, but I'm in the community now and I am active in it now and I'm pretty much a known player, so you can't really hide from stuff like that anymore for too long at least, but yeah. I'm going to say one more thing and then I think I'm going to cut it off here because I've said all I pretty much wanted to say. So, um, this is about the community too. I'm going to give some people some tips if they ever think about becoming like a comp player or playing the game like consistently as far as like what they want to main or use in the game because what you main and use in the game is going to determine whether you will be like viewed as a player. So. There are three categories in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. It's either you play cast, which that's someone who only plays cast characters, or you're gonna be a cheeser, which a cheeser is someone that spams a move and does like something that someone finds cheap, basically. Or you will be a fair CAC player, which a fair CAC player is basically a guy that only plays a male human, a male Saiyan, and he plays by like rules that Shahan and these other like CAC players tell him. I don't know the rules because I'm not, I'm not in that little mindset or circle, and I, I don't care about playing with rules in that game because it's just pretty much you can't. But those are the three categories, and if you try to play like both, because there are some people that are like hybrid players, they can play both cheese, fair CACs, and cast, but. Uh, my recommendation would be not to become a hybrid because you will, unless you're playing like comp or seriously, no one's going to know you and they're not going to like respect you, I think, for being able to play everything. So, yeah, if you guys decide to get into comp, you'll have to pick one of those three categories and cast players aren't really like active currently. I'm a known cast player now, but there's like barely any active. There's like over 30 confirmed CAC players and, um... A lot of the cheesers nowadays that I fight, as far as like sets go, they all are EU players because a lot of the EUs, they do like cheesing and stuff, and that is what they do. They like playing cheese, and they do take cheese fights seriously. If you're not ready to deal with like, don't go all out, lag switch, which yeah, people will lag switch you in cheese fights, and they will count those as wins. But if you're not ready to deal with stuff like that, I definitely would recommend not becoming a cheeser. Because you will get mad, you will get frustrated over dealing with stuff like that, and you're just not going to have fun. And you're not going to enjoy the game, I think, if you're playing cheese like that. And cast, there is no rules. I think a lot of people that are like just getting into the game, they will play cast. Because there's no rules, and it's like I told y'all, you can do what you want, pretty much. But... Fair CAC, um, that one, you can play fair CAC if you want to, but there's like, you're gonna have to basically let a child, basically like a 16 or a 17 year old child tell you how to play the game, essentially, because I've seen grown men that are CAC players and they're still taking orders from like children telling them how to play for fair CAC play, but yeah that's like the three categories and like i told y'all um if y'all play comp you're gonna have to pick one side and that's gonna basically determine how people are gonna view you as far as like what you use because people already know like who i am they know that i'm ain't cooler and i do get a bad rep for it but i don't care i've been playing cooler for years i'm an og at playing cooler and i still plan to play cooler and main cooler like that even though i have mods now and i don't have to play them I still choose to play him because I consider that character my main. Cooler is basically my CAC at this point and I would never stop maining him even if I did get mods, which I have. I never turned my back on that character and I never will. And that's just how it is. But, 
Yeah, all I'm gonna tell y'all is just be careful, because if you run into the wrong people, they will, like, try to find stuff about you online. You, you might have, like, your face leaked or something. They might try to leak more stuff. That's why you should only, like, keep your personal information private. Like, only keep that between, like, friends you trust. Don't send that to, like, random people in these Xeno Discord servers, because these are the types of people that will do stuff like that. And they don't care about, like, what they leak and stuff, which I'm not a fan of that. I'm very, like, protective about my private private life and stuff. I only show that to certain people. But, yeah, just be careful, guys. Pick your category and... I guess have fun. I guess you can play comp as long as you're having fun, but just be safe and have fun. But that's pretty much all I want to say. The community's just full of egotistical people and just like annoying stuff. But it's not like completely bad. You just need to like play with the right people. But yeah, just always play with the right people and just remember to have fun because you can have fun in comp, but. That's pretty much it. Toxic Arkham out. I'll see you guys in the next vid, which I have some vids planned for this week. You'll see those, and I'll catch you guys in the next live stream. But until then, I'm out.